praise God and hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Our Lord and our God, you are so good. We are so thankful for all that you do for us, oh God. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the breath that we have. Thank you for the gift of health. And thank you for everything, my Lord, that, oh God, you do for us. We are so thankful. We are so grateful. Today, too, we thank you for giving us opportunity, oh God, to sit under your feet. Your feet. We pray, precious Holy Spirit, that you speak to us today to, to, so that we will be able to walk according to your will. Thank you. Thank you so much in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from Romans chapter 12, the verses 13 to 19. Let's read through the Word of God and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. Hallelujah. Romans twelve thirteen to 19. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Hmm. Brethren in the Lord, we cannot, we will all agree that we need the strength of the Holy Spirit to do all these that we are talking about. Being hospitable and then praying for those who persecute you. And the Bible says that pray that God will bless them. And when God blesses them, they will live long to see how God is still blessing you. You understand? Hallelujah. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with each, each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Yes, and this is very practical. There are so many Christians who choose people they want to talk to. No. The Bible is saying that we should not be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. If we want to be leaders, we have to humble ourselves. If we want to be great, we need to humble ourselves. The Bible continues to say that we should be happy with those who are happy. And what do we see? If someone is happy, God blesses the person and the person is happy. We rather envy the person that is not Christian. That is not Christianity at all. With the help of the Holy Spirit, we'll be able to do what the Word of God is telling us. The Word of God says that we should be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. We do not only have to weep with those who, who weep, that the person is weeping, so I'm weeping with, the, with him or her. That should not be at the end. Be happy too when someone is happy. And that we should live in harmony with each other. Remember that those who bring peace are called children of God. We need to humble ourselves so we can be able to walk with everybody. We can enjoy the company of people, whether the person has money or not. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable yes in our talking in our walking in our, whatever we do let's let there be a difference between what we do and that of the world do all that you can to live in peace with everyone dear friends never take revenge leave that to the righteous anger of god for the scriptures say i will take revenge i will pay them back says the lord so if we fight for ourselves the lord will not fight for us but if we pray for our enemies and allow the lord himself to take control we will see the hand of the lord hallelujah let us humble ourselves before the lord and the lord will lift us up let us live in harmony with everyone brethren in the lord this is the real nature of Christ himself. So he wants us to walk in his footsteps. And by doing that, 
we can draw souls into the kingdom because they will love the Lord more. God bless you. Share the word and then be an evangelist for the Lord. Be a blessing to a soul who needs your help. God bless you so much. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.